As part of a comprehensive strategy to protect the United States from future terrorist attacks, the Department of Transportation has revised its regulations to require all companies that transport or cause the transportation of hazardous materials to provide security awareness training to their hazmat employees. This includes everyone involved in the transportation of hazardous materials, from the manufacturing and testing of shipping containers to the unloading of the materials at their final destination. This security awareness program will discuss security risks involved in handling and transporting hazardous materials, methods of enhancing hazmat security, how to recognize potential security threats, and specific actions to take during a security breach or attack. This training is critical. You and your co-workers may be the first line of defense in preventing a terrorist attack. Years ago, terrorists tended to rely on conventional military weapons, but today they have added hazardous materials to their arsenals. The reason for this is that many types of hazmats are readily available and possess the ability to cause major damage and inflict mass casualties. But who should we be on the lookout for? It is important to remember that terrorists can have many faces. They may be members of a highly trained foreign cell, from a domestic militant organization, or a misguided individual who has his own twisted agenda. In many ways, terrorists are like any other type of criminal. Some of the same precautions that you would use to safeguard consumer goods will also work with hazardous materials. Enhancing security requires an examination of a facility from the inside out, since internal threats can be the most dangerous. Employees have knowledge of a facility's layout and security procedures, and may even have access to sensitive areas so a misguided worker can pose an extremely serious threat. Internal security is an ongoing process that starts with background checks being performed before a new employee is hired. Typical internal security measures also include conducting spot checks of personal vehicles and lockers, having visitors show identification and sign in, and accompanying visitors while they are at the facility. If your facility uses other companies to transport hazardous materials, the security measures that they have in place should also be checked regularly.